George, welcome to Countdown. Now, listen, I must say I got a little confused because there's so many names come out of England. Mm. And when I first heard the record, I thought it might have been Young Guns doing Wham. <laughs> However, it was Wham doing Young Guns. So can you just tell us how you and Andrew got together? Uh, basically, we, we met uh, when I was 11 and Andrew was 12 at school. Right. And uh, we became like... And where was that? That was uh, in Bushy near London. Right. Uh, and we became like best friends straight away and stayed together until we left school about a year and a half ago. Uh, then we went on the dole. Um, we'd already been in a band together, but we just kept writing songs. And when they were good enough, we uh, got a record contract. So that was last year. So how did you get a record contract then? I mean, how did you sort of make London notice? Wow. <laughs> We didn't really, you see, we were just like, um, the actual demo tape that, that got us the contract was about four minutes long, and uh, it was just, we did it for £20 in Andrew's front room to try and get someone to give us, you know, because we had no money being on the dole, we, just, we wanted someone to give us the money to make a proper demo, right. um, and uh, we got a contract off it, which like we were really amazed with, um, with uh, Innovision CBS, so here we are, a year later. So how many songs had you written before that time? I mean, did you have a band that you performed? And um, yeah, there was one band that we performed with, as we said, but no Wham. I mean, Wham came about after the contract. So where did the name come from then? Uh, well, I think it was Andrew, actually. Originally, we were in a club um, dancing, and we were kind of doing this, like, formation dance, and we were having a laugh. And uh, Andy started shouting something about Wham, Bam, and all this, you know. And uh, we thought that'd be a good name for a group. And then we threw it out the window. We thought, no, got to think of something better than that. But eventually we came back to it because it seemed right for what we were doing, you know. Right. And so you're also to... doing dancing, sort of like going out to clubs, what, and dancing? Oh, yeah, that's, that's our background, really. We've both, um, we both been like, well, what we called soul boys, I suppose, for about the last five years. So uh, dancing and clubs are um, the places that, you know, we get our ideas from. Right. So uh, I think that shows in the records. Hopefully, it shows. Well, I, well, I was, I was going to say. I mean, Young Guns. Is that a true story? Like the lyrics that go through that? About it's not true. It's not true of either Andrew or myself. But it's true of a lot of our friends. You know, right. uh, people that we see up the pub. You know, and you'll say, "Where's Alan tonight?" Or "Where's Bob tonight?" And they say, "Oh, he's in with the birds." You know, and uh, it's definitely true of a lot of people. But it's a very kind of tongue-in-cheek look at the way. Um, a, you know, young boys look at being uh, tied down, and I think um, I think you're not supposed to be particularly impressed with with the, the the male point of view from the song. But at the same time, it's it's uh, very typical. Someone described you the other day in Australia as being an English version of John Travolta. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. No, I haven't got any I haven't got any white suits in my cupboard or anything like that. Um, no, I think probably the dance aspect is going to be there for quite a while and um, the songs will probably remain up tempo but um, I can't really tell I mean six months ago I had a very different view to what Wham would be than the way I feel about it today so I don't really predict for the future I just hope that the inspiration comes to to keep writing um, hit singles uh, and hopefully hit albums so uh, I think we'll just have to wait and see okay now we've got Wham rap out at the moment and what's after Wham rap after Wham Rap, um, I'm not actually sure because the schedules between uh, Australia and England are very different, but I would imagine you'll have the third single, which is uh, Bad Boys, uh, and then the album, which is right. as yet untitled because we're just finishing it now. So, um, Bad, so Boys, Bad Boys... What's Bad Boys about? Bad Boys is, uh, is fairly much along the same lines. I mean, we've, we had a go at the two major institutions, marriage and, and uh, work, and now we're just having a go at uh, the frictions between, you know, boys of our age and a bit younger with right. our parents. You know, it's all it's all things from experience and observation, and it's like it's another very tongue-in-cheek look at um, teenagers, I suppose. Right. I'm aware of which I'm still luckily a part. So, have you been a bad boy? Have you been, oh, been a, a bad um, boy? Well, I mean, have I, you had a, I mean, like had that problems with girls where you've. Someone else can look at you and say, where's George tonight? And they say, oh, well, you know, he's out with his girlfriend. I've not actually got that serious with anybody, no. no. I've been lucky enough to escape that. But, um, I suppose I've been a bad boy to an extent. I think that all the, the lyrics are, the lyrics 
to the, to bad boys are fairly much uh, about my um, experiences with my right. parents. Well, listen, thanks for the interview. Uh, thanks we very wish much. you luck. And I think we should go into Wham Rap. Thanks very much. Okay, thanks, Bye. George. Great. That was excellent, though. So.